Schoology's highlight image assessment question allows students to easily annotate an existing PDF-like activity without needing to layer in outside extensions. To begin, locate the item you want students to annotate or mark up. This can be an image file or a PDF or a doc. However, with a PDF or document file, you will need to save or convert that file into an image so that you can load it into the test question. There are several free online converters like smallpdf.com that let you upload a PDF and convert it into an image file, or you can use any screen clipping tool to capture just the parts of the file that you want saved as a picture. I am using a free Chrome extension called Nimbus to draw an area around this worksheet that I want to use and save as my image file. My screen clip is automatically saved as an image. This is an easy way to convert whatever I can get on my screen into an image file. Once you have saved your items as images, create a new assessment in Schoology, enter due date, grading information, and whether students can make submissions right away or if you will open the assessment later for submissions. Configure the settings for your activity or assessment. I cover these in detail in another video. And these settings govern things like question order, assessment tools, how many attempts students have, and so forth. On the questions tab, choose to add the highlight image question. Write your question instructions. Then choose upload image. You will get a small preview of the image here and can use the more options to adjust the size if you desire. Click OK when you're done. You can align learning objectives and when you're done, choose save. Enter the points possible for the question and then continue adding questions if necessary. I'll repeat that process using the PDF worksheet that I took a screenshot of so that it would become compatible with the highlight image question, which only supports images. As I am creating questions, I can preview them using this preview button to see what my question will look like to students. The highlight image question allows students to annotate and record their actions, so you can even upload a blank white canvas to give them a workspace to solve a problem. I have an image that's just a plain white rectangle, and I'll upload that to my question to create a blank workspace. Altogether, I've created three different questions using highlight image. I can preview my entire assessment using this preview button. During your preview, you can answer the questions, but your submission will not be saved. So let's switch over to student view to see what an actual student submission will look like. Students click start attempt to begin. They are given six colors that they can use to annotate or write on the screen. The undo button clears their last action and clear wipes the canvas clean. I'm annotating with my mouse, so my work is a little bit sloppy, but this question type is ideal for students with touch screens. Once the student has completed each question, they click review and then finish. And now I'll switch back to teacher view to look at the results. When I click on the grading tab, I can view submissions by question or by student. My preferred view is by question. When I click on the highlight image questions, I can see the recorded actions for each student, and I can click replay if I want to reload the animation so I can pinpoint where an error may have occurred. I enter the score right here, and once I've entered scores for all manually scored questions on my assessment, the student's final score posts to the gradebook. The highlight image question lends itself to a variety of uses and is one of the easiest ways to allow students to annotate with touchscreens.